What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and that title was not clickbait. I paid $250 for $1,900 worth of tech. The only catch is here, I have no idea what's inside, and it's all Amazon returns. So, they could be broken, they could be busted, they could be perfectly fine, they could just be stuff people didn't want or ordered the wrong item. That's the thing here. It was a liquidation website I bought this from, where they just buy stuff in bulk from Amazon if they don't want to deal with it. So they sent me a pallet of tech returns, 50 pounds total in these two boxes. So, if this sticks, if this series does well, uh, we're gonna call this thing Unloaded. So what we're gonna do here is go through both these boxes, see what we got, see what's inside, and then test everything and see if the stuff we got is worth. And then from there we can see what the overall value is uh, in relation to what I paid. So let's not waste any time. This might be a pretty long video. So the only thing I know uh, was these pallets were from Las Vegas, whatever the liquidation site is. Um, I'll put it down below. And they do this pretty frequently. That's what a lot of third-party sellers do on Amazon or eBay. They'll just buy a bunch of stuff from these liquidation companies, test it, and then, you know, resell it for um, what it's worth. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, man. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. Let, let me invert this box here. Wow, okay, uh, right off the bat, I am completely stunned because right here is the SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless headset and this itself, I'm pretty sure, was like $300. So if this works, then we paid just for this alone, not including this entire box of other stuff. And I already see some games here. This is a, uh... all right, so first off, what we're just gonna, we're just gonna pick things apart here and go over it. SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless. Like I said, I want to say this is close to 250 retail. Uh, this is actually one of their newer headsets, but the whole Pro series, the wireless one, these can get expensive. So if we test it out and this works, then that is going to be already a crazy buy just starting off the bat, uh, just like this so quickly. Um, I'm just going to reach in things and grab stuff randomly. Stay of the K2 for the Xbox One. Maybe I know this got bad ratings. Uh, the disc itself looks perfectly fine, so they could have just bought it and decided they don't like it and returned it. And then here we have new Gundam Breaker. Funny thing about this is, very similar to State of the K2, is this was highly anticipated. I know I was really looking forward to it. Then when it came out, got really, really bad reviews, like half star on Amazon. Uh, but this, the front's a little busted here. You can see the case is ripped. Uh, so this could be perfectly fine. Could be a great working game. All I gotta do is maybe, if I don't like it, resell it, put it in a different sleeve, and it's good to go. We got a CD here. Orrington? Never heard of her. I'm sorry. If anybody wants this, hit me up. Okay. Um, these are... Wow. Wow. I don't know what these are. They're some sort of headphones, but they are definitely not my style. Maybe that's the beauty of this. Finding out new things that I did not know about. Oh my god! BU, it says on each... This this has to be like some Chinese vending machine pair of headphones. It's got a rainbow bow up top, BU on the side. This, uh, I mean, they probably... Who knows if these work. Should I, should I put these on for you? You guys want to see? Fantastic. Get these out of here. They probably don't work now. They're, okay, I don't even know where to be. I just I just don't even know how to like go through all of this, but there's a little box over here. What's inside this? Dire Straits. This is a, this is a vinyl. Oh my god. I am honestly Listen, when I, when I knew it said the value was around 1900 like I said, I didn't think it was going to be like I don't know. I'm I'm just ranting here. Dire Straits. So I've never heard of them. Uh what year did this come out? 1978 uh, the vinyl itself's intact I'm not gonna take it out but hey this is an odd sort of return but it's in here next up a little box Shkochi no idea no idea uh, looking like a okay so this is like gonna be a little phone mount possibly for your car yes yeah, it's just a little little phone mount air vent Stick it on there. Hey, 
I'm just throwing everything off to the side. It's gonna be super fun to clean up. We got some Xperia Ear Duo Wireless. I've never heard of these, actually. So, huh. Got the little Sony pod, and then the wireless earbuds. Oh, they're inside of this. Wow. Okay, so the Xperia Ear Duo uh, wireless earbuds. Let's see. Yep, right there. Really nice gold uh, finish on these. Tell you what, these work. That'd be a pretty nice pickup. I was actually looking for something very similar to this for around the office when I'm like filming and stuff. All right. Oh. I swear to you guys, when I was buying this stuff, I did not know what's inside. This is the Rode Video Micro. People were complaining when I picked up my Sony a7 III when I was doing vlogs that the mic was off because I'm pretty sure my o my old uh, video micro I bought was busted because I like I dropped it last year and it kind of fell apart. Uh, so if this works, that would be a crazy, crazy good coincidence because I need a new one. So that's awesome. Holy moly, a built-in 7-inch wireless rear camera. It's the... Uh, Huh. So like, I assume it says Amazon warehouse inspected probably again one of those things where people just it's not what they thought So they returned it. I also should mention that on the website It said that uh, it's like they have like a 10% defective rate of the stuff that they sell in these massive boxes So 10% is not too bad. I assume this is just some sort of like, you know rear camera for your car and it has a wireless uh, monitor with it, so that's that's pretty pretty cool unless the camera itself is wireless, but um, I won't need that at all So that's okay. We got a nice old uh, Here we go from Apple remember the old 16 pin chargers no use for that unfortunately It is a hurricane outside. I'm favoring this box too much. This is just a binder uh, the, the little bungee thing here is broken. So that'll go back in the dump uh, a TV antenna, a digital HD antenna. If you want to ditch some cable, I guess you hook this in. You put the thing by the by the window so it receives a signal. There's some uh, some parts jumbling around in here. Could be busted. What else? Uh, a lightning digital AV adapter. So if you have like a uh, like your phone, if you want to plug in, or I guess if you have an iPhone, you can plug in like HDMI or a lightning port to have it out to a monitor or a TV. Got the cable here. It the cable itself looks brand new. Bro, these liquidation boxes are where it's at. I'm gonna become a hoarder real quick because all this is just more room than I have already. This isn't really tech. Uh, Elmer's washable clear glue. One quart. Thanks. <laughs> I guess that's a part of it. All right, we got another CD in here. Earl Hines. What is this, jazz? Earl Hines, live at the new school. All right, that's my first CD in like 10 years. We got some manga markers. <laughs> some manga dual brush pens. My apologies. Um, I could probably use these. I actually do some some minor drawing and stuff on the side. And maybe for just having these like in the background of shots, for like those overhead desk shots on the wooden desk. Get some color in there. Okay, okay. I apologize already if this video is going to be really, really long. It's just there's really no efficient way to go over all of this. And then we still have to test everything and go over that stuff. Uh, these are just, this is a single earbud. No information on it. XDU Pathfinder. It's a single earbud here. Very interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, I think some of that glue leaked because this was glued to the side of the box. That's pretty good. This is a Broadcaster headset for the PS4. Dream Gear. This looks very generic and cheap. Probably like a $9.99 pickup. Um, got that. Little earbud and the microphone for it. This is a wireless mouse. Wireless mouse. This is from Logitech. Oh, okay. I'm not too sure of the model here. Let's see the M325. It feels like, yeah, it's got a battery, the receiver already inside. Very tiny portable wireless mouse. Probably like a good like laptop mouse or something for on the go. Top back over here. No idea what these are. Uh, Victor. Victor what? A electronic mouse trap. Oh, not what I was expecting. Probably should not handle these without without knowing what I'm doing anymore. But hey, we got some electronic mouse traps. 
That's cool. Oh, what is this? Uh, another lightning cable for your charging. That's it says lightning cable, but this is clearly a uh, micro USB. So again, that could probably explain the return. Wrong label. Boom, Office, Home and Business, 2003, brand new. You get a, that's Microsoft Home and Business here. Little office key, pretty cool, pretty cool. And a Polaroid, wow. These, if this isn't what I'm thinking of, I'm pretty sure these are close to 100 bucks. I know we were looking at getting one of these in pink for our wedding to have just like around the venues, people can take pictures and stuff. But that's, this is brand new, it's not opened at all. That's pretty, pretty nifty little buy there. Oh, what is this? Epson. This is a looking like printer ink. The 410 XL. There are one, two, three, four, five cartridges in here. We have four yellows. Black, yellow. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't have this printer, so I can't take advantage of that. Maybe this will be something I can resell for like three times as worth because printer ink is stupid expensive. What do we got over here? All I see is Abraham Lincoln on the back. Uh, business, cotton paper, oh, it's just, oh, wow. This is like cotton paper? I've never felt paper like this, actually. Feels pretty nice. Um, hey, could always use some extra paper for writing down notes. It's for proposals, presentations, and reports. Very, very nice. Maybe some extra printer, printer paper to go along with that printer ink. All right, we're, we're making a dent here. These are just looking like some extra silicone ear tips. Um, uh, you know, I don't want to even test these out because if someone did use these, you know, it was probably in their ear. Ugh. Maybe this goes along with that one, that single ear, earbud we had before. Or maybe it goes along with this. Skull Candy Jib Wireless. Um, wireless pair of Skull Candy. Oh! There is some gnarly, there's some gnarly earwax in here. That is gross. These are going right in the trash. Oh, why would you, why would someone return this after using it? Clean your ear. <laughs> that was gross. Uh, what is this now? Is this one of those JBL speakers? No, but it looks like a JBL speaker. A Comiso? Huh. Pretty rugged. Got some weight to it. Uh, got like a rubber body around it. Huh. Does it turn on? Is it probably dead? Interesting. Interesting. I have too much Bluetooth speakers, so really no use for that. Let's see, what have we got here? A digital signal preamplifier for antennas, uh, for outdoor antennas. So, from RCA, I don't know. I really don't, I don't know what this does. I don't have any use for it, unfortunately. Now we got some, we got like about five or six, seven bigger boxes left. This is a triple monitor, no, I'm sorry. A double monitor arm mount. This, uh, these usually go for around 15 to 30 bucks on Amazon. This is actually pretty convenient because I do want to work on like a secondary station, like secondary work station or a desk setup. Uh, it's again, brand new, not opened. This is from Vivo, very, very popular. I've seen these a lot in Room Tour Project. So, we got a brand new one here. No way! Wow. There are so many things in this box that I've looked at to buy or have had an idea to buy. This is one of those digital dog treats. Uh, HD camera, the Pet Cube. Now this definitely looks used considering the, the tape around it. But it's, you know, a camera for your pets. You can do like voice chat with them while you're out. It can shoot them treats and stuff. This is very convenient if this does work because my wife and I actually coming up, we have a trip coming up. We were gonna leave the pup alone for like 12 hours, which is still kind of a lot for the day. So having something like this while we're out or going on day trips is definitely convenient. Huh? We, got some, we got something for you, Luna. She's camera shy. I don't usually shoot out here, so I have the lights and the cameras and everything. She's kind of freaked out. She's sitting behind me. And what is this box here? Let's see. Uh, lots of weird, weird like office stuff. Weird office stuff. These are a ton of like Manila envelopes. Wow, it's probably like a hundred or yeah. There's there's a hundred in here. I think there's four packs of like twenty five. No use for these, unfortunately. 
but damn. So that'll do it for one box. We got one more left, looking like five more things in here, including this kind of retro throwback looking uh, classic Bluetooth speaker. It's the retro edition it shows from QFX. Uh, box is open. We'll test it out again later on, see if it's usable. Amazon Basics chest mount harness for GoPro cameras. Huh. All right. Uh, this was, this doesn't look used, but someone probably bought it and was like, oh, it's not what I wanted. Not what I thought it was going to be, so they returned it. Again, those are usually pretty cheap. And then something that I'm really not too familiar with at all. Uh, boss. Boss, my bad. Some speakers. Some 400 watt speakers for your car. Again, Amazon inspected, so this could be good. My car's audio is fine as it is. Uh, these are black and red. The CH6930. Someone let me know how these are. The Chaos Extreme Series. That, that could be a good little Craigslist flip. Oops. And then last but not least is a home phone, a cordless phone for your landline. It's been uh, it's been about seven years since I think I've used a landline, but hey, this is the last thing in the box. Wow. All right, so to reiterate, we paid $250 for, they said $1,900 worth of Amazon tech returns. Came in a big pallet, two boxes like this, 50 pounds total. Definitely a lot more than I anticipated. So I guess the next step to this video, if you're still watching, is gonna be to test the things that I think would be useful or, you know, worthy and see if they work, see if I could use them or not. And if they do work and I don't care about them, I can always flip them and resell them. All right, so first up, I wanted to test the video micro. And if this works, that's great. So I'm gonna judge the audio after this when I'm editing. Hopefully it works, that'd be awesome. Checking in afterwards. Looks like everything's all good here. This saves me, I believe it's like 40, 50 bucks. All right, so next up, I was testing out those uh, Chaos car speakers. Opened one side and I saw that and figured, yep, that's probably a valid return. Busted. But that's what this series is all about. All right, next up was those Sony uh, Xperia Ear Duos. They're definitely most likely meant for women, uh, but they work fine. The weird thing was with this is, I think it is made for, you know, feminine ears, not my fat Italian earlobes, because this thing took like 10 minutes just to fit properly around my ear. But I mean, hey, they work. Now I want to check the price. $280 for these? That's literally more than I paid for the entire 50 pound pallet. So that is a lot more than I was expecting these are gonna be worth, but that's awesome. Like I said, they do work fine. And after seeing those uh, those Skull Candy earbuds, I got kind of wary, but these were brand new. Thankfully, no one had these in their ears before, which is always a good thing. And uh, the whole sides of these are like touch pads. You, there's like no buttons, so you can tap it to skip songs, swipe up and down and stuff like that for volume. And it comes with its own little like wireless charging pod. You put them in here and they charge right up. So $280. All right. Next up is the ink. And considering they're all individually wrapped and stuff, I assume they're brand new. And these are worth 75 bucks. I know the video is long. We're gonna fly through this part. Uh, this Polaroid One Step V2 camera, which was also brand new, is worth 120, but it only has a two and a half star uh, Amazon rating, so pretty poorly reviewed. But this, like I said, brand new. Tested both the games with Save the K2 and New Gundam Breaker. Like I said, they both work just fine. Um, the Logitech wireless mouse that worked with no issues. Tested out the cable. This worked. Next up, what was it? Oh, I'm probably not gonna keep this, but there was no issues with the GoPro harness. Probably gonna resell that one vinyl because I have no use for it. And this QFX retro speaker. This was only 23 bucks on Amazon, unfortunately. Uh, definitely looks like it'd be more expensive, but also another one of those products that has very bad reviews. It's definitely cheaper than I thought, but it worked just fine when I tested it. Everything here is still uh, functional. So pretty interesting retro speaker here. These are the last three things to test that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, I'm gonna keep those manga markers, the, the paper and the pen or the uh, the glue stuff, plus that mount. But everything else is probably gonna get tossed because it was just junk or I had no need for it or it was broken. Like I said with those speakers, don't need those uh, Manila portfolio things. Again, I don't need a wireless backup camera and thing for my car. I know someone in Africa, like you said, there's kids in Africa without this stuff. I don't need it. And a lot of the other stuff I'm just gonna toss if I didn't mention it already. And especially uh, these things.
Come on, what is this? Office Home and Business for 2013. Uh, excuse it being blown out here, you probably can't even see it, but on Amazon it says $292. Probably not the retail price for this still, but hey, if I list it for like 100 or 50 bucks online, if someone buys it, that's already a huge profit. Next up, what I'm really pumped for is testing out the SteelSeries wireless headset. If this works, that'd be great. So I just got to boot it up, and guys, this works 100% fine. Like, everything inside here in the box was all in its original packaging. It took me less than five seconds to get set up, so there was no issues with that. The only thing that was out of the packaging was this with the battery, and the battery was in upside down. So I'm willing to bet that he had the battery in or didn't know how to, I don't, I don't even know what the issue was, but the best thing is there is no issue. <laughs> So again, that's the best part about this, and obviously hard to speculate why he or she would want to return these, but they worked perfectly. $320 these are worth. I underestimated that before. I said I think like $250. So $330 for, this is literally brand new, the SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless headset. Everything here works just fine. That is awesome. I might actually use these like as my main headset going forward. This is a crazy value. I paid 250 for everything, guys. But the last thing I want to check out is that little doggy cam and the, the treat shooter thing. All right, and lastly, the Pet Cube 100% works. I've even got it, uh, let's see if I can boot it up right here. The live feed is up. This thing itself, like I said, this was literally in my shopping car on Amazon Prime Day. Decided not to get it. This is $218 right now on sale, usually for $250, and it works just fine. I just had to update it, the latest uh, firmware update, and it was good, but there's one catch. So when I was unboxing it and setting it up, I heard a bit of rattling around in here, and uh, yeah, there's still some treats in there, so this was definitely like a one-time use kind of thing, where either they tried it and just returned it or something, but it definitely was used, which means if we do decide to keep this and use it, we're gonna give it a complete sterile wash head to toe, uh, but that'll be up to my wife's discretion whether we keep this or not, but I mean, it does everything else, works just fine, the camera works, the, the treat shooting thing works, pretty solid pickup. All right guys, so that's probably gonna wrap it up for this one. Uh, I know it's a little bit long at this point, but I just got kind of overwhelmed once I unboxed everything and saw how much stuff there was. Again, I paid $250 for $1,900 worth of tech, and they're all just, it's from a liquidation site. They buy a bunch of used stuff in bulk from Amazon that Amazon doesn't want to deal with, and they sell it out to people who, you know, like third-party resellers. They'll buy it like I did, test it out, and resell it on Amazon and eBay, all that. And just the total value of stuff that I'm probably gonna keep was like $1,100, $1,200. You saw a lot of it was junk, yes, a lot of it I'm just gonna throw back out because I don't need it, or it was broken, or I just don't wanna touch it again. But the stuff that I did keep, like in the Pet Cube by itself, the SteelSeries headset, the Sony earbuds, the camera, the Microsoft Office code, that itself is close to like 11, 1200 bucks as it is. So I'm gonna keep a lot of that stuff. And I wanna get your guys' feedback. Do you like this series? Do you wanna see me do more of these? Should I break it up into smaller videos? Should I do a, a follow-up on the whole process of reselling to see how much of a profit we can make? I mean, everything as itself is a big profit, but uh, just crazy, crazy stuff. It was a long day doing this and testing everything, but I think altogether, very interesting, a massive mystery unboxing that I only paid $250 for, and I am wildly impressed. This went a lot better than I thought it did. A lot of stuff I'll be keeping, and uh, that's 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 awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Like I said, uh, comment down below your thoughts, and feel free to hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.